Hello everyone! So today we're gonna to be talking about Trollers notebooks because those were actually the notebooks that kind of started my whole planning and journaling journey. I think I discovered Trollers company sometime in 2018 or something and I actually used solely Trollers notebooks for quite some time before I kind of started looking into other brands and notebooks and I have to say I'm not using my Traveler's notebooks as much anymore because well I just fell in love with Hobonichi <laughs> but I still really really love my Traveler's notebooks and I'm still using them for some things and today I thought it would maybe be fun to just show you my collection and talk a little bit about each notebook and what I use it for. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. As you can see, I don't really have like a massive collection or anything. I currently only have those four books. I have to say though, I just recently sold one because Initially, I also had a camel passport size Travers notebook, which was actually my first ever Travers notebook. But for some reason, I never really fell in love with the camel. I think it was probably the leather or something. I just wasn't the biggest fan of this like really fuzzy leather. And I just felt like it deserved a home where it was a little bit more love. So yeah, I just recently sold that one and now I only have those four books left. But yeah, I think let's just start. And I think we're gonna start with the passport size because as you can see, I only have one. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, this is the passport size in the black color. And this is probably my most used Travers notebook actually, because this is my wallet and kind of everyday carry. I pretty much take this everywhere with me. <laughs> and yeah, that's why it looks like this. It actually has like a lot of scratches and looks a little bit worn, but I, I, I really like this. I like how every Trolls notebook kind of develops this really unique patina. So yeah, I really like this one. As you can see, I have two charms on here. Those are from the Taiwan Beer X Travers Company collab, I think. And yeah, I think <laughs> they're really cute. And also they match with the wallet insert I have in here. And well, I like matchy things, so <laughs> this is pretty exciting. And now let's just take a look inside. I won't talk too much about this though, because I'm planning on doing like a separate video about my setup in here and kind of like how I use this as a wallet and also <laughs> about my thoughts, why I think this is a good idea. So if you're interested in that, maybe just subscribe to the channel. I'm going to do this towards the end of the year because I also want to set up my calendar insert in this video. But let's at least talk a little bit about it. As you can see, I have two inserts in here. First one is this wallet insert. This is a Galen leather wallet insert and I have this for quite some time now. I think I must have this for like three years or something and I still really, really like it. It's just, I really like the layout and just how it's set up. And I think it's just a great addition if you want to use your Travers notebook as a wallet. I also have this pen here in the pen loop. This is the Travers company brass ballpoint pen. I think this is great because it's really compact and doesn't take up a lot of space. I would like to replace this though with the brass pencil because I feel like that would be a little bit better to kind of have like a pencil on the go instead of like a ballpoint pen. <laughs> Those are pretty expensive though so for now I'm just stuck with this one. And then the second insert I have in here is just this 
pretty simple monthly insert by Travers Company, which I just use to like put in all of my appointments on the go. So this is nothing special or anything, but it's just pretty useful to always have like a calendar with you, I think. So yeah, that's pretty much my wallet setup. Again, I'm gonna do a more in-depth video soon, but yeah, that's it for now. <laughs> Now let's continue with the regular size and the first one we're going to be talking about is my blue drawers notebook which is I don't really know what this is to be honest I think I would call this like a special memories journal this is just a place where I journal about like special events and think I want to specifically remember a little bit more in detail and also a little bit more in like an art journaly way and I also use things that are a little bit more bulky in here or just things I wouldn't necessarily use in my Hobonichi kind of to prevent bulk so yeah that's pretty much what I do in here let's just quickly talk about the charms though I have this Charles Company brass label plate thingy on here or like brass tag i don't really know how we call them also this silver bead then i also have this little elephant charm and last but not least i also have this safety pin on here which i stole from my mom <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much the outside of this notebook i really really love the color by the way i think this is just such a nice blue and I think mine is a little bit more turquoise leaning. I also saw quite a lot of blue trolls notebooks that were like a little bit more navy, but mine is a little bit more green, I think, and I absolutely love this. So yeah, really nice. And now let's take a look <laughs> how it looks on the inside. The first thing you see pretty much is this pencil board. I just have this clipped onto this wallet insert and I don't know, I just kind of like using them as like a dashboard or something because I think the Toronto's company pencil boards are always so, so pretty and I don't know, I just want to look at them. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much the first view. And then we just have this wallet insert, which I just got off of AliExpress because I feel like the original Travers Company ones are just way too expensive, as, at least for me. I mean, they're probably worth the money, but I just, I don't know, that's not really something I can afford or I want to afford. So I decided to just get a couple of those from Aliexpress and I'm actually pretty happy with those. So yeah, that's what this is. I just have a couple of ephemera pieces in here and also like Polaroid pictures and things like that. I just want to use in like upcoming journaling spreads. <laughs> and then I pretty much only have this one paper insert in here where I just do my journaling. And yeah, let me just give you a quick flip through. As you can see, I use quite a lot of Polaroids in here and again, just things I wouldn't necessarily do in my Hobonichi. Like for example, I would never use like or do a wax seal in my Hobonichi because that doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, you could do it, but it's just, I don't know, it's just not, not a good idea, I think. <laughs> so I just do those things in here. And also what I usually do is hide my writing. <laughs> like for example, I wrote some things under this tag and also like under this picture and I think, yeah, under here too. I just want those spreads to be like really aesthetic and that's why I like to kind of hide my ugly handwriting. <laughs> so yeah. This is pretty much what I do in here. 
I have to say though, I won't do this next year because this is just a little bit too much to keep up for me. I, I really like how those spreads look, but it's just too much. I can't keep up with it. And what I'm going to do instead is just do like one page for each month and then journal about my highlights instead of like doing one spread dedicated to each thing, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's kind of like my plan for next year. But the style will probably be like pretty much the same it will just be a little bit less in this pouch in the back i just have a couple of paper pieces i could use for journaling and that's actually already it for this journal but i absolutely love it i mean look at this this is just i absolutely love the color scheme i have in here and yeah I really like this one. And again, I just absolutely love this pretty blue color. It's just so, so pretty. Yeah. Okay, so next up is my Olive Trotter's Notebook, which if you've seen my travel journal with me video, if not, I'll link it for you if you want to watch it. Then you've already seen this notebook because this is my travel journal. And also I have an insert for like museum journaling in here. And yeah, this is actually my latest addition to my collection <laughs> because the olive was just recently released again. And I was so, so happy when they announced that they will bring the olive color back because when I saw this for the first time, I just absolutely fell in love with this color. But when I got into Travis Notebooks, I couldn't really get my hands on one because you could only get them from like resellers for a lot of money and I wasn't really willing to pay so much. And I always expected them to kind of bring this back because like for example the blue trousers notebook was also introduced as like a special edition and was then brought back into their like standard lineup so <laughs> i always expected them to do the same with the olive but oh well <laughs> it took them quite some time <laughs> so yeah i was just so so happy when they finally announced it and of course i had to get it immediately. As you can see, I have this cute little polar bear charm on here, which they usually release around like Christmas time or like holiday season. And I think I saw a post on the Travis company or Travis factory Instagram page where they announced that they would bring them back for this year too. So yeah, I think if you're interested, you can get one of those too. And I, I don't know, I just really like this. It's, it's so cute. And yeah, this is my travel journal, as I've already mentioned. And I think this is actually the notebook I have the most inserts in because I have two like paper inserts and also a craft folder in here. But again, the first thing you see when you open up the book is just this pencil board, which I have clipped onto this craft folder and yeah then we just have the first half of the craft folder after that my short trips insert i just journal about short trips <laughs> and yeah let me just give you a quick flip through those are actually the two pages we did in the journal with me video and yeah that's pretty much this insert, then we have the second half of the craft folder and last but not least my museum journal insert, which so far I only have one entry in <laughs> because I only visited one museum, at least since I have this journal, but I already have plans to visit a couple more, so I hope I can fill this up a little bit more throughout like the next couple of months. So yeah, this is my Olive Travis notebook and my travel journal. 
And yeah, again, I just really like the olive color. I have to say though, wait a minute, let me just close this. <laughs> okay, so I have to say though, I always thought the olive was my favorite, but I don't know. I also really love the blue and I can't really say which is my favorite to be honest because I mean, look at those. I also really enjoy them together for some reason. <laughs> I just think they match pretty well, but I don't know which one I prefer. But I mean, they're just both so, so, so pretty and I'm really happy that I have them. <laughs> okay, and now last but not least, we have my brown trailers notebook, which is actually my oldest and I think you can see it because this developed a really nice patina I think it's just gotten really dark and shiny and I I really like that to be honest and this is my ink journal which I did a setup video on so if you're interested and watching I'm gonna link that too. As you can see I have those two charms on here. I just have this Travis Company brass suitcase charm and also this little music thingy which I don't really know where I got this from but I found it in my stash and I just put it on here <laughs> and yeah that's it for like the outside. Now let's look at it on the inside. <laughs> So again, this is my ink journal. I just have all of my ink swatches in here and also an insert for like currently inked and things like that. And yeah, I just have two paper inserts and also one of those wallet inserts. And the first thing you see when you open up the book is just this little ink swatches booklet. This is where I previously had all of my ink swatches and I decided to just keep it in here because I didn't really want to throw it away. And also this is to more river paper so I don't know I felt like it made sense to kind of keep this to also see like all of my inks on to more river paper so yeah that's that then we just have this first part <laughs> of the wallet insert which I feel like this is probably kind of pointless to have this in here because I don't really have much in it the only thing I have in here is or like are some of those swatch cards I've used in my ink journal. Otherwise it's empty, but I mean, I have it, so we might as well just live in here. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. And then we just have my ink journal insert, which I haven't used yet. I wanted to use this for like currently inked and just fountain pen and ink related things, but I didn't really have the time or like, I don't know, I just, you didn't really get to doing something in here but yeah I'm gonna do that soon because I really need to do like a currently ink page because I absolutely cannot remember what inks I have in my pens so yeah that's not ideal so that's what this is for and then we also have this little booklet where I have all of my ink swatches in this is just the Toronto's company card file insert or something i can't quite remember to be honest but it's just this insert with like those pockets and i have all of my ink swatches in here and yeah maybe let's just do a quick little flip through but again if you want to see the setup video i'll link it for you and i also swatched like all of my fountain pen inks in this video so yeah i think it's it's fun to watch <laughs> So yeah, those are all of my inks and I still have quite a bit of space, which is good because I'm considering getting the Inkvent calendar again. So I will definitely need the space. And I don't think I have something in here. No, that's empty. So yeah, that's pretty much my setup for my ink journal and I really like this to be honest. I think it's a pretty useful thing and I especially like the idea of having those swatch cards in this card file insert. I linked the channel down below where I got this idea from because 
I wasn't genius enough to come up with something like this. But yeah, I just, I think this is such a great idea and I'm pretty excited about this. So yeah, that's my ink journal. So those are all of my journal's notebooks. Please let me know in the comments down below what you think about the Charles Notebook system. Do you also have Charles Notebooks? What are you using them for? And maybe also tell me your favorite color. I mean, I, I would really love to know because I can't decide which color I like the most. So yeah, I would definitely love to know what kind of like your favorite is or like your favorites are <laughs> and yeah i think that's it for today i of course hope you've enjoyed watching and i don't really have much else to say take care and i hope to see you in the next video bye bye